Hey everyone, this is Brandon One Arc, and I know it kind of looks a little weird. I just got a black bag, black shopping bag, but uh, I bought two different packages from Comic Chest, which Comic Chest is really becoming one of my favorites to uh, unbox. Now this is going to be an unbagging because I wasn't thinking they actually put it all in one giant box. Uh, this is actually the themed box. The other one is a custom. Uh, but the theme this time around is it's showtime. So there will be 10 comic books in this bag, one box collectible, two vintage action figures, the hero clicks, and a pack of cards. And uh, that's kind of the little, there's not, you know, a, a huge, so I'm going to try to get stuff right. Uh, this is a, a mis true mystery because half the time I don't know what's going to be in here. We got packaging. Can't tell how many. Okay, all the packaging is done. Sorry, I did. First up, we have oh the hero clips. Now I'm getting to where I have quite a bit of these. Whoops. Um, let's see what all we have. There's usually so this is about the right amount. There's usually about four. In each one. First up, we have Fitz. So is this Fitz? Yeah, this is Fitz from uh, Agents of Shield. Here we have Agent Ward. So it's showtime. This must be a. I'm leaning towards. Yeah, this is probably all Agents of Shield. We have Agent Ward. We have Bat Rock. I don't really know who that is actually. We have Bat Rock. We have Deathlock. Okay, so I know th three of the four. I have no clue who Bat Rock is. Doesn't look like a Bat Rock. Thinking like Geodude dressed as Batman, maybe. Up next, we have the collectible, and I'm leaning towards Funko Pop, and I'm just going to get, I'm going to guess Agent Coulson. The question is, am I right? I was actually wrong. It is Black Canary, a little bit of dinged up, but Black Canary with a booby trap battle. Black Canary booty, <laughs> booty. Booby Trap Battle. Huh. Actually, I've never saw this Funko before. Um, huh. I, and I've not saw that movie either. It's from Birds of Prey and the uh, Fantabulous Emancipation of one Harley Quinn. I have not saw that movie at all. I feel candy. Is that Starburst? We got Starburst. We got some Starburst. Is there usually candy? I, oh, oh I'm, watching, I'm getting stuck on the bag. All right, we have this is the cards. Okay, here's the cards. If I can get in there, if I can get in there. Oh, sweet! We have Demolition Man. Demolition Man, which I really like that movie. It has Wesley Snipes, uh, Sylvester Stallone, I think. Why do, why do I feel like I'm wrong? I don't know. It's been so long since I, I could be completely wrong. I don't know. I feel like I'm wrong at this point. No? I think that's right. I don't know. I don't remember. At this point, I I need to stop because I'm probably really wrong. And then we have Batman Returns. I think that's at the parade. It's been so long since I've saw any of these. I need to watch these. And then we got uh, Penguin. Hopefully that's... We got the Batmobile. And then we got Batman and Catwoman. So we got... Uh, Michael Keaton and Michelle Pfeiffer. I feel like I'm wrong on all of this. I'm 
I'm not as brain's not as good as it used to be. Alright, next up we have another ooh, we have another card. We have the Punisher. First cover trading card series two. It's pretty cool. Some good cards. And then we have a pack of Terminator cards. Non-card booster pack. Oh, this is a Terminator collectible card game. I'm not going to take those out. I'm actually going to keep them in that. Uh, next up, we have the Vintage. Who is our Vintage person? I actually don't know who this is. I'm not sure. I want to. It's not Jax. I don't know who the vintage is. So, uh, a couple of comment chests to go. Uh, best thing to do is just comment below on who this is. I actually am not sure. For some reason, Jax pops in my head, but I watched a Mortal Kombat movie last night. So it automatically Jax pops into my head. I'm really not sure. Who that is. Yeah. Alright, last but not least, before the plug. Oh, no, wait a minute. I didn't see this. We have another vintage. Usually there are two action figures in here. Take a look who this one is. Oh, another one I have no clue. He's awfully uh, clear. This is probably the Invisible Man, I'm assuming. I hope so. So, maybe this is John Cena in a cowboy hat? Not sure. Leaning towards the Invisible Man, but it could be John Cena might be the Invisible Man. I don't know. I can't ever find him. I don't know. That joke's getting really old. old. All right. Let's get in here. Let's look at some comic books. After this, we'll uh, look and see what's coming up in June. This is actually the May mystery box. It's showtime. Uh, we're going to take a look at these. They have the value on the back. I don't really get into that. Just because I don't know comic book value. First up, we have the Punisher Knights number 11. I don't... I have some Punisher stuff, but most of mine is War Journal. I don't think I have any knights. Next up, we have Jonah Hex, number 26. This is February 2008. I don't think I have one single Jonah Hex uh, comic. I have the movie. Um, next up, we have, oh, Green Arrow, year one, number two of four. I will put this in my collection. Actually, so far, all the comics have been really good. Uh, we have... Green Arrow Year One, first issue of four. I actually think I have this one. I'll have to look. Next up, we have Green Hornet number five. Okay, I have a. I think I have one or two Green Hornets. Um. Next up, we have Ooh Highlanders Zero. Now, uh, I've actually start, I recently bought the complete collection of the TV show and started watching it. Episode 1, I didn't even remember episode 1 at all. Uh, ooh, I like this. This is The Crow number 9. Sweet. That is nice. These comics are all really, really good. Next up, we have The X-Files Season 10... This is number three. Now, I think X Files, and I know, I think, I know Smallville kept going after the show ended and it became a comic book. Uh, X Files, I, maybe it did the same. I don't remember. Uh, I have not saw any of the X Files in years. And then we have the X Files season 10. This is number two. So the previous one was number three. This is number two. And we have the X Files season ten number one. They're not bad. So we got uh, one, two, and three of X Files. We got a couple of Arrow season one. 
or air or year one. So uh, I love this box. I love getting comic chests. Every time I get it, there's always something good for me in here. Uh, so up next, the June edition. It's seventy-five dollars per box, free shipping. Uh, the June edition is actually space. So it's gonna have the space, the theme is space. So um, go check them out. Um, just type in the comic chest. You can pretty much find it online, or go to Facebook and type in the comic chest. That's how I found them. Um, every item is pre-wrapped in there. So just to go back and look over um, May's box of its Showtime. Uh, I know that was a movie. Uh, and then LXG, I know there was an Invisible Man. I, I think there's also comics, Invisible Man. I don't know. I, this kind of looks like it would be, this might even be a version of The Shadow, possibly. Uh, if they put out a clear version of the toy, because the only reason I say that is because the hat, and then it looks like he has, you know, a covering. This could also be, um, oh, I can't even think of it now, Vigilante, like a version of Vigilante, because if I remember correctly, uh, there was a Wild West version of Vigilante. This could be it, too. I don't know why he would be see-through. This, I have no clue. I, sorry, sir, I have no clue who you are. We had the Agents of S.H.I.E.L.D., uh, Hero Clicks. So it was TV show and movies, because we had uh, Demolition Man, we had Batman, we had Punisher, which could be either way, because it's been shows, movies, comics, obviously, and then we had Terminator. And then we had, you know, comic-wise, we had X-Files, we had The Crow, we had Highlander, we had Green Hornet, we had Green Arrow, Jonah Hex, and Punisher. So, my favorite items are the comic books. All the comic books knocked it out of the park. Back in the day, I used to be a, a decent X-Files fan. I never, I don't like to say I'm a huge fan of stuff, just because I say it a lot. And number two, then somebody asks you, like, oh, what about this, this, and this? I'm a huge fan. I'm not a database. Half the time, my database anymore but uh what was your favorite item was it the starburst because starburst are pretty good and these i'm gonna try not to leave in my car and then eat them and it's like eating bricks uh it's way too hot to be leaving candy in the car and then you have hero clicks which were pretty cool the only one i didn't know was bat rock or bat croc or rock a bat i don't know i don't know his name uh the figures i'm not sure on either one if you want to comment below if you know who they are the cards were awesome. The Batman cards almost beat everything just because uh, it's Batman. So in next, until next time, like, share, subscribe. Come back for some more. I have, uh, of course, Zobi. I have Bespoke Pose. I still have not showed off all the Lego sets I've bought. I still I ain't even finished putting them together. So until next time, like, share, subscribe. Come back for some more. We'll see you later.